Indians at X, chairman of the Village of West for Historic Preservation Commission. And we're here today to recognize a Harmony House, formerly known as the Webster Grange, as a historic landmark. The building is now officially on the state and national register of historic places. The Village of Webster Preservation Commission started this process in 2013. It's been a, it's been a long journey. We're very proud of it. Uh, the, uh, this started with a comment from Judy Wynn stating that the Harmony House and the Grange were in the historic preservation, and from that point, the uh, historic preservation kind of pursued their interest in it and asked them if they were willing to put the building on the National Register if it meant various criteria. Well, through a series of trial and error and kind of trials and tribulations, we, we got to the point where we put, we were able to get this to the point where we could nominate it on uh, state and uh, national register. This was a process that included us, the Village of Webster Historic Preservation Commission, the Grain, uh, the uh, Workshop Protect Association, Genesee Association, and the Village Board. Together, we all went in and contributed monies to employ barrel architecture to get us basically over the uh, the final threshold, the final finish line to get this on the register. Well, we were able to do that, and tonight it's our pleasure to be able to say we're there. Uh, I want to say one thing about the building, then I'm going to turn it over to you. The building is very unique in terms of architectural features, and it has served the community for over a century. Uh, I'm not originally from here, but when I first moved here, I was kind of thinking back to this architectural feature, and the fact that it was still being used as a meeting hall, being used for churches and other things, community events, uh, for over 100 years. That's very special. The building, the other thing that makes this building a pretty book that makes it very special is the fact that it is basically an original, both interior and exterior, and it has not changed for over 100 years. That's quite an achievement, but quite, you know, uh, we only find that. And so, so, with that said, I want to uh, introduce you now to the uh, Genesee Choir back here. And if you would all please stand and sing with them.
course of the course of Tennessee, President Don Morgan, not attending tonight, but I believe uh, there is another representative, uh, David Bay, is here, maybe? Very in back there. He's past president. Thank you for coming and bringing the whole group. Uh, and uh, I think uh, Tom Pellet, who is president of the uh, Webster Museum over here. Uh, we just trusted Gary, we got that. So, with all that said, and those are comments, I'd like to go ahead and give the floor for just a couple of minutes to uh, Art Johns for some remarks. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, on behalf of myself and my better half, Ginny, uh, we uh, thank you all for inviting us here tonight. Um, I'll try to keep the remarks short, but uh, I was born and raised in Webster. I remember when this was called the Grange, and uh, I really want to commend the, the mayor, and the village trustees, Ed, Peter Elder, and uh, everybody who made this possible. You know, restoring this building, I read a lot of the, uh, the history in the background here. If you remember, as I do, how old am I? 64, she keeps reminding me. I was born in 52, they still called it the Grange, but you know, going back 120 years when this building was erected, I was reading that about 25% of all the families and the people that work, work in farming. Right now, we got about 2% of this country that works in farming, feeding the other 98%. It was a big deal. Webster was a farming community. I remember when I was young, the first two years I went to high school was in uh, Bishop Kearney. My last two years was at Arlo Thomas. Now, I got sick of taking two different buses to get to and from uh, to and from high school. But they would ask us in a rabbit boy, what's it like living out in Wayne County? And that's what Webster was. It's not the same now. But the fact is, this is our history. And if you look at the old pictures of this building, it looks the same. It's restored, but it looks the same. Our touch, architecturally the same. It's great to see the course of Gen C is here. We'll see all that in both of you probably on September 11th. But I just want to say how proud I am, myself, Ginny, all the members of the town and the Preservation Society that do allow us to be a part of the ceremony tonight. Thank you all so much. Thank you for allowing me to be your representative down in Albany.
Graves was instrumental in bringing a telephone exchange to Webster in 1901. In 1909, the Graves began collecting awards at the State Fair for fruit and vegetable exhibits. This was once the largest Grange in the United States. The Grange, though much smaller, still meets in this building, and I'm a proud member of myself. Then, in the 1970s, the force of the Genesee bought this building and have taken care of it since, and I should say, very good care of it since. I've had the privilege of, of meeting many of these great singers and attending a few of their meetings. A few weeks ago, when I attended their meeting, which is on Tuesday night, they called this their, and I'm quoting, beloved building. The chorus holds these Tuesday meetings and they're open to the public. It is a rare treat to see how barbershop, barbershop music comes together. You can hear some wonderful music harmonizing on Tuesday nights. Now here's a few facts about the chorus. The chorus has more than 80 members. They are the Rochester chapter of the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America. They are the chorus of champions. They have represented both the Seneca Land District in international competition 20 times in the last 30 years. The chorus through the Harmony Foundation supports music education in schools across the country. Locally, they help raise money for the Hearing and Speech Center of Rochester at the Alcibo Center. The chorus members form many quartets, and I've had the pleasure of listening to a bunch of them at their <coughs> concert at Penfield High, um, the ultimate barbershop experience. They also perform as Christmas carolers, singing ballad. The chorus has been a worthy successor to the Grange in cherishing this building. As you see, it is full of histories, stories, and life. And you can even hold the event to yourself. My wife and I actually had our wedding reception here, um, right here in this hall where you're sitting right now. So I'll vouch it's a great event. We'll talk to Brian Moore. He's the guy who knows everything about the Grange and does everything around here, and he can help you out. There he is right there. And thank you again for coming tonight and sharing this special event.
here tonight and uh, to achieve this status of grandmother. I wish to thank the courts of the Genesee for their dedication to upkeeping this building uh, since 1976, for their service to the community as well. This building, built in 1899 during a period of history that I was reading from about the late 1800s to about 1920, uh, with a barbershop, uh, quartet music. Uh, it was a flourishing time at that point, and this building, built in 1899, uh, was built during that time of uh, the flourishing of, of barbershop music. And I think it's very fitting that today, as it is being dedicated uh, as a national landmark, that it is, in fact, uh, still being occupied uh, by a uh, barbershop uh, musical group in uh, the course of the Genesee. Uh, it was a championship group, as I have read, uh, representing the district as well as uh, international competition, um, puts on, obviously, an, an annual show. And I know that uh, at Christmas, of the, the court, uh, the uh, uh, Carolyn uh, that is done uh, by the Ivy Group. Thank you. With its period theater, with the rehearsal hall, with the full dining area, bar, and kitchen, this is a wonderful place in order to have um, concerts, and wedding receptions, family reunions. And I want to mention that on November 18th, this building will be used by the business, uh, the center district, the bid uh, for an evening from 4 to 10 of uh, food and bourbon. Uh, they will be having various, uh, uh, various um, distillers uh, locally uh, coming into the area pairing with food uh, for the evening here. So I'm going to put a plug in for that and more information will be coming. It is uh, a current vision of the village, of the Western Economic Development Association, uh, Alliance, that uh, this part of the village become an arts, and cultural, and entertainment district area. And I think that this building, the uh, Harmony House, can serve as a tremendous anchor for that in the future. So we have a vision for this end of the village vision for this building. Uh, we will be looking in the next year for monies to help in the rehabilitation of uh, several of the areas within the building uh, and hope that uh, we will be able to achieve that uh, financing and move forward. So there is a, a vision for the building and uh, I look forward to that uh, in the next uh, few years as I serve as mayor of the village uh, to be able to be part of At this point, we would like to um, make a presentation. I'm not quite sure who, but um, this plaque is going to go on the building. That this property is listed in the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior.
you very much and have a good evening.